Hey guys, IGFC 101 here yet again with new episode number 3 of my Football Manager 2012 Complete Iblis Town playthrough. Um, not the best of starts in the first episode, we lost our first league game against Bar blah, 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 Barnsley and we won in the League Cup against Stevenage. This time it's the first home game of the season um, against Hull City, going to be a tough game. Um, just got a couple of things to show you first, we did sign a new player. Um, I mentioned I had a couple of irons in the fire. That's still true for not a couple of other players. Um, well, one, I think. But um, anyway, the guy we've signed is Christian. He, um, he's a winger from Hercules. He's going to go straight into the side. And I'm, I'm, I've actually set up a new formation. Um, this guy doesn't... He does have decent stats for winger. He's not the best. I was expecting better. My co co my scout told me um, he'd be better than, I th than this, I guess. And um, so I guess I'm going to have to hire a new scout, but my old, old one did look, you know, he'd lo he looked like he could, he could do the job. But anyway, going into the squad and then tactics, we can see that I've set up a new formation. It's a very attacking formation. It's a 4-2-3-1, but it does mean I can play both my wings and my MC, at my, uh, <laughs> I can't talk today, and my attack AMC, which is going to be Jet. Um, I've got Christian on the left there with Rodriguez up front, Maki on the right. So the starting lineup for this game is going to be Kinski, Edwards, Sonko, Materazzi, Tezavalas, Ballard, Boya, Maki, Jet, Christian and Rodriguez. Um, I'm having a hard time with only five substitutes because I've got, I've got a really strong squad. I just You just don't want to have multiple of the same position on the bench. That's why I've only got one defender, that's Jack Ainsley. Even though he isn't the strongest of defenders, he can fill in at a couple of positions and he could even play left back if need be. But on the bench I've got Stockdale, Ainsley, Martin, Chopra and Helgerson. Uh, Martin covers pretty much all the midfield, so that's why he's in there. But anyway, let's get going. Let's see if we can pick up our first league points of the season. We just need to give Christian a number. He'll be given the number 30 shirt. Uh, who is it? Which is number 30 at the minute? I can't even think who our 30 is. But anyway, it's going to be a tough game against Hull, but we're playing a very attacking formation. So hopefully we'll be able to take the game to them. Um, this can easily revert back to the 4-5-1 if need be. Um for the fans, he does really like talking to, about the fans. Um, let's give the fans something to cheer about. Okay, and apparently that did nothing. So I'm going to speak to Rodriguez because he's going to be our our man. I think this season. Um, I want to see a good display. Nothing specific, no word. So anyway, let's hope them. We don't need to say anything to them. Hopefully they'll be up for it anyway. But Hull has the first attack, unfortunately. He's cut inside Edwards really easily there. Um, the right back is the air that I'm looking to improve. Um, I've got a bid in for Joel Ward from Portsmouth. And um, my backup plan is to get John Flanagan on loan from Liverpool. Um, they're the two right backs I'm looking for at the minute because I don't think Edwards is strong enough. And nor is Jack Ainsley really to start week in, week out at championship level. But one of our midfielders lost the ball there and that's really poor. And this is a really quick break from Hull. And if they can get the ball in it's going to be a danger and Carlos Edwards give away a penalty. So what I was saying that about... Um, about Edwards, how I wasn't really confident with him at right back. I guess that's my mistake for forgetting to sign a right back and concentrating on other areas. But um, Kinski didn't even move, and it's Matty Fryer, who I've always rated at this level in real life and on Football Manager. He's a he's a fantastic player. And unfortunately, we go one nil down within what is that three minutes? I can't see the timer because the Fraps watermark is there. But anyway, we're on the attack now with Jimmy Bullard. His free kick goes straight against the wall, but. Um, it's going to be picked up by Matarazzi. I don't know why he wasn't in there. I guess I'm going to have to look at my set pieces because he should be in there for a free kick. Um, a big beast like him in the air. That's poor by Sonko, I think that was. But luckily we're not going to be going to be paid for that because that was an awful ball forward. Easy for Hull to pick out. And we haven't really had a meaningful attack yet. We've had Jimmy Bullard's free kick and now they've got a free kick. And this is dangerous if he got the powerful effort. It's a good block on the edge of the area. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get the break there. Jamie Mackey. But they've got a long throw in. Um, Dudgeon, looks like he's got a long throw and he does, good header there by Jet to get the ball out, still in danger, um, down the wing, good defensive header from Sonko there, that's what you want from your big centre backs, winning those headers, that's why um, strength, jumping and heading is all important for a central defender, but we've got another free kick, Jimmy Bullard hits it over the bar, it seems to be our only threats from set pieces at the minute which is really disappointing. Um, but now Hull's got a free kick, it just seems like a match of free kicks, but hopefully we can get a break here with Mackie, we've got a man over, I don't know who that is over there, but Mackie's running in on goal, he might not need him, he can play him in, that's poor, 
That is really poor from Jamie Mackey there. Expect much better. It was a good run. He had the man over and he tried to go on his own and he got tackled. Real disappointment there. And now Hull can break. Um, if they play this through ball through right, and they have, so now our defenders need the pace to catch up with them, which they have done, which is fair enough. But the ball into the centre, good by the, by Matarazzi. Good interception. Now we can break. And oh, what an important defensive header, but it came off our guy last by the look of it. Um, but we're getting some attacking threats. This I know we're going to be... Um, oh, that was a chance there. Um, this is a very open and attacking formation, so the risk is there. But um, we need to be scoring. I expect us to score with our front four that we've got in this game. They're all top-class championship players, in my opinion. Um, but great turn there. And Jet smacks the post. Unlucky Jet there. That's what he's capable of in real life and on this game. Absolutely wallops the post. But that's hopefully a sign of things to come. Hopefully we can build more attacks like that. Good defensive header by George there. But Hull come down with it. Um, it looks like we're having more luck going through the centre than going through the wings. That might be something I have to look at. I think I've got it set to go through the wings at the minute. Because I expect the wide men to come more into prominence like Mackie and Christian. But Mackie's on a run here. Um, the defenders come to try and cut him across. Good ball inside. 1-2 um, there, looks like Bullard's on a yellow card and he got absolutely, that's a brilliant tackle and Bullard's injured. So I don't know if I'm going to have to make a change here, it does look like it. Um, I think he got a yellow card for that tackle actually, but no I don't have to make a substitution. But Hull are coming forward and that shot's wide um, in front of their fans. I always like that knowing which of the home fans which are the away. Um, I wish they could have done something like in this to do with the real life stadium so if you're on the side that's at the side of the game but it's not it's always behind that left hand post but the left hand goal but i'll take it anyway come forward again it's jet again with christian one side good ball through and that's one one good ball from christian and david rodriguez puts it away so the two spaniards linking up there um to great effect a good through ball and rodriguez got on the end of it and put it past the keeper which i think is Andri adriana basso so it's a good end to the half we've got level um We've been playing very well. We started slowly, but um, we've definitely come more and more into the game. So um, apparently he still wants us to go on about the fans. I think I'll be calm. Um, let's get the fans on cheer about. Does that do anything? No. Um, see if I can make Rodriguez happy. Um, passionate. I'm happy with your performance today. Um, it doesn't do anything, so I don't know if that's just him personally or... But he's doing a good job. He's got a, he tucked away. He's going nice. I don't see any reason to make any changes here. Um, if we were one 0 down, then I might have considered. But um, anyway, the Hull's got a free kick, free header. It's a corner. Must have come off Jet last. Um, there was Jack Hobbs in there, but good by Jet. Um, of course, he's six foot three, so he's going to be dangerous in the air. He ain't got the best hand guard. That side is just going to be dangerous, whatever. So they've got a corner. Ball in. Good header away from Matarazzi. Um, good tackle on the edge of the box and we win the free kick. Fell from Robert Corran, another really good championship player. Um, but it seems like Hull's got the edge at the minute. We haven't had attack in this half yet and Hull's going to get to this ball as well. They do have to play it all the way back to Basso. Wasn't the best kick back but we haven't put them under any pressure which would have been nice. But we've got our front four blocking there. Bit forward so Jet comes through. It's a good ball here to Rodriguez again is it? I think it might have been. Um, but an easy save for Basso there. But good closing down from the front four. Make it difficult for Hull to play the football. And we've got a free kick here. Putt played short. Hopefully he doesn't shoot from nowhere. That's good. Okay, he did shoot from nowhere, but it was well wide. So that's really disappointing there in my eyes. I think um, I think you just got to calm it down there. Just see if you can make a make a chance. That's a foul from Bowie, and it, it looks like he's off. So... Um, that might slow us down for the rest of the game because we're only going to have 10 men. Is he going to be sent off? He is. Okay, so we've got some decisions to make. I guess we've got to just try and hold on for the point. Um, I know it's disappointing at home, but when you're down at 10 men, there's not much you can do. Maybe I should have noticed that earlier and took him off. But what we're going to do is do, we're just going to move Jet back. That's, that's, um, that's the only thing we're going to do. Disappointing from Bowie, a player of his experience. You'd expect him to... Remain calm when he's on a yellow card. But not much has changed with our formation. we just got one less guy in midfield. Um, we just lost our AMC. But Jet should do a fine job there. I, I don't have any qualms about putting him there. Um, long clearance from Kinski. Rodriguez can't win the header. Ballard does well though. But he can't find Rodriguez again. Um, Rodriguez does seem to have a good work rate. And he does well there. And Mackie's got through. 
Kamaki finish, he can't. Straight at Basso. He could have pulled that back for Rodriguez as well. That's that's disappointing for Mackey. I haven't been too impressed with him. Um, I read good things about him. And I've had him in a previous save and he he did a good job. So I was expe I'm expecting more from him. Maybe he's just getting used to the club, getting used to his teammates. But um, maybe he just bears a striker. I'm on plan on the wing, so he might not like that. Good corner in, just couldn't win the header. Trying to get another ball in. Got to win that. And we have. That's good play. That's probably offside though. Yeah. Um, Christian, I haven't seen much of him. Most of the play has been down the... Sorry, excuse me. Has been down the other wing. But since going down to 10 men, we've equipped ourselves really well. Um, a ball in there, headed away. He could have took it first time, but it was a great save from Basso. I think it was Jimmy Bullard. Um, it was a great save, and that's a, that's a foul from Christian. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to freshen things up, making a couple of changes. Because um, I think some players are going to get tired, like George Tazavalasas, whatever his name is. He's at 50% energy. So I'm going to bring on Jack Angley. I know it's not his preferred position, but he, with him at only 57% fitness, it's not going to do us any good, him being there. And I'm going to take off Rodriguez. Hopefully um, Chop will be able to sneak in and get a goal. Um, Chop has been unfortunate not to start. Did I bring on someone else? I saw number 11. And Christian's got him. I've got to keep him on, I think, but because I've made two changes. I think I made a mistake there. Okay, it just cancelled all subs. Okay, right, so Christian's injured, so that's forced our hand. So we need to bring on Lee Martin as a winger. I guess so I can still do Savalellas. But we're going to bring on Chopra for Rodriguez. And we'll still bring on Ainsley for George. And hopefully that... I, I don't really want to say I'll, I'll do us for a point. But we're, we're the main attack and threat at the minute. So if we can keep going, hopefully we'll be able to do something. Um, just one chance is all we need when, when you've got a striker like Chopra sniffing around. Rodriguez did well for his goal. But it's a hull attack to start, off, to, start um, to start with. So that's not good. They've got a ball through here, but it managed to blast over. I did notice there that Jack Angley was well out of position at left back there. So I guess that's a, that was a risk putting him there, but I just thought George only had 52% energy, so he's not going to be doing much there either. But he comes inside, he's gonna, it looks like he's going to run all the way through, but there's a good defensive tackle there, and maybe we can break now. I can't see who it is, I think it's Mackey out wide to Carlos Edwards. Bomb and four from right back, well, run for this is from Carlos Edwards, just couldn't get the ball into the box, and Jet shoots just over. Jet looks like he's going to be an important player for us this season, his... Um, his long shooting seems to be a big plus point. So in stoppage time, um, our players are getting tired, I guess, but it still looks like it's going to be us to score, if anyone. Great run here from Lee Martin. Um, poor ball, though, just couldn't get it through. Um, but Hull are now looking to go on the attack. That's a good tackle from Matarazzi and from Sonko. But, oh, but Matarazzi's caught out of position. He's clear through here. It's got to be a goal. Good save from Kinski there. Um, that would have been harsh to lose like that as we've played very well. We've been, the, we've been the team on top for most of the game and pretty much all of the second half, including when we had um, um, Lee Bowyer sent off. We're on another break here. I think it's Chopra pulled over to the left. He's got, a man in, he's got a man in the box. Can he find him? He can't. Poor ball there from Chopra. But we're still on the attack. But that's a poor ball, but we've got away with it. Ainsley's already been booked since coming on at left back. But we've got one more chance. It looks like it's Chopra with the free kick. Poor free kick. I don't know why Bullard wasn't on that, but there's a poor free kick. I don't know if Hulst left time to make an attack of their own, um, but we need to get a tackle in anyway. And Ainsley's dived in. He's not going to get a second. Is he going to get a second yellow? No. Okay, that's that's fortunate. We've been going down to nine men, um, but headed away here, and we can break here if Martin can get away from his men. No, that's it. It's a one-one draw. Um, I'm I'm really pleased with how the team played. I thought the formation worked a treat. We just didn't take our chances. Um, okay, look switched off. Okay, that probably was a mistake of mine then. I think I said I was pleased, so surely they should be happy with that. But, you know, that's only one point from two games. That's that's not the best of starts to a season. But anyway, sir, because this is a live commentary, I'll be doing two games in this one episode. So I'll see you guys in the next game. Back in a sec. Okay, and welcome back. Our next game is away at Brighton. Um, I've had to make a few changes. No new transfers. We've had an offer accepted, um, but we're still negotiating. There are other clubs interested. 
So um, no news on that yet. We've had a make a new few changes because Bo is out injured. Um, Christian, no, Bo suspended. Christian's out injured, and I also thought George was a bit out of out of shape. So we've brought an Aaron Cresswell at left back. Um, Grant Ledbetter at centre midfield and Stephen Doby on the left wing he's back from injury he does prefer to be on the in centre but Jet's been doing a good job there so I'm going to see what he can do there and I've also brought in Heider Helgeson because um, I think he's probably our best striker um, for this formation just he's a big target man he can hold up the ball for the other three um, attacking players um, so our team for this game is Kinski, Edwards, Sonko, Matarazzi, Cresswell, Bullard, Ledbetter, Mackey, Emmanuel Thomas Doby and Helgeson with the bench of Stockdale, Ainsley, Martin, Chopra and Rodriguez. So we're going to go into the game. Hopefully we can pick up our first league win of the season. We got the last point in the last game. They're playing a diamond, um, which I've disregarded for this series. I don't think it'll work. And um, I have high hopes for this series, for this um, formation, but if it doesn't work, I, I'll have no hesitation in changing it. Um, he thinks it's all about the fans again, so I guess I'll be calm. Give the fans their money's worth. No reaction, of course. Maybe I should try. Maybe I shouldn't listen to him. But anyway, here we go. Um, at the Amex Stadium, I'm looking forward, or the Amex, how you prefer. I'm looking forward to going there with, with Ipswich in February. Um, I was hoping to, to be early in the season, just because you know, I was hoping for it to be the first game of the season, but just to be in the opening match there. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I think it was Doncaster who got that privilege. Um, but anyway, we've made an attack and start, but it's it's Brighton who's got away with it, and a break could be on here if we're not careful. Um, that's poor. He should have intercepted that. Good save from Kinski though, and that's a foul from Cresswell. I thought Cresswell was the one who got fouled. Um, that's a free kick right on the edge of the box here, um, floated wide, no danger there. That was a weird one. I thought Cresswell was the man who got fouled there, um, but hopefully we can make some breaks here. We got a corner. Matarazzi couldn't get there on the near post. He's got there now, and he absolutely whacks it high. Um, not probably what he's known for there, Matarazzi. Um, it's probably going to be his only se his last season. So hopefully, um, we'll, we'll be able to replace him towards the end of the season, depending on what division we're in. If he's if we get relegated, for example, I'm sure he'll do a job. But that's poor from Doby being offside there. He he looked across the whole wing. Um, so we. We've made a positive start to the match. We seem to be on top. Um, Jet's come, in, come to the wing here to get the ball. He's got men over. We keep it on this side, though. Good ball in. Well, it wasn't the best. Mackie couldn't go on to it. Anker Grun gets there. Um, I always liked him at Leeds, and he's doing a good job at Brighton. He didn't have the best game at Portman Road this season when we won 3-1 against Brighton. Uh, but them days seem so long ago now as an Ipswich fan. But anyway, good run down the left for them. Edwards does a good job holding him off, and he, he does have to concede the corner. So they have that now. Vince a lot with a ball in, and there's a foul from Gordon Greer. I think he's their captain, and um, so we get so we get the free kick. But Brighton seem to become a straight ass again here, and um, ball in. No defence was near Mikael Smith, which is of course suicide basically. But he pokes it wide, and we can get goal kick, but not for long because Brighton are on the attack yet again. Headed away here. Um, only to the edge of the area and they can play it about good ball through but Kinski is quick off his line the 36 year old and what a bargain he is on a free transfer to be better than David Stockdale apparently on a free transfer is fantastic um, good ball there for a bit sooner Doby could have been through but good ball from Doby header uh, um, I think it might have been Helgeson but it, was, it went wide and it didn't, tr it didn't trouble Ankergren but end to end stuff here um, both sides have had opportunities it's, and Brighton with a corner here, it's come back, and they can put it back into the box. Good header away, and if Helgson get there, break could be on. Unfortunately, Helgson couldn't find a man with his header. Um, but they're coming down the right now. Oh, good ball through again. Kinski thinking of coming, he does, and it's a good save. Um, Helgson probably could have picked that up, but he didn't. And we can break here if Doby can find his man, and he can. Helgson, of course, isn't the quickest, but his strengths are in other areas. Um, but Cresswell on a yellow card. Plays it back to Kinski and that's well defended. Doby wins a good header, but that's poor from Helgeson. Um, yeah, there's there's no excuses for that, and that that could have cost us a break there, and it could cost us a goal if something comes from this attack. Um, but Doby does well to intercept there, and Helgeson's away. And of course, he hasn't got the pace, so he's forced wide. He, he's got help with him from his from the multiple midfielders. Ref getting in the way here. Um, curled effort there. Um, from Helgeson, but not happening. Guy with 12 finishing, that probably is not going in. So a goal kick for Brighton. Um, 
or a lob ball through. He's missed it. The defender has a chance, and Brighton take the lead. Uh, Mikhail Smith gets the goal, and that is shocking defending. I think it was Sonko. Just let the ball go over him, and Mikhail Smith was clean through on goal. So and after an entertaining first half, it is Brighton who take the lead. Um, but we hopefully we can get back into it before half time. Um, Sonko needs to make up, and is he onside here? He is onside. It's Helgerson, and he's blasted it wide. Oh, that is poor from Helgerson. Was it Helgerson? I think it was. Um, that's poor. It's a brilliant effort, a brilliant chance. He was onside. So it's uh, I'm far from pleased with what I've seen. That seems to have done a good job, and I'm really not been pleased with Helgerson. So I'm going to take him off and give Rodriguez a, a go. Um, I probably could give Chopper a go, but um, I'm going to give Rodriguez because he is a he is, does seem to be our star striker. He scored against Hull. Was disappointed. He would have been disappointed to get dropped. But I just wanted to give Helgerson a go, and we've got an injury here for Carlos Edwards. So that means Jack Ainsley is going to come have to come on. Le luckily, it's his favoured right back rather than left back against Hull. But um, so it's still disappointing because Edwards is a, is decent. He, I mean, he's not spectacular, but. So we've got the first attack of the game, a real poor ball forward, but Mackie does well. Could form a chance here from that tackle. Kankakung somehow gets it away. Um, we need to get second ball, we don't. Sonko kind of gets away, and we can come forward again through Emmanuel Thomas. Good ball into Rodriguez, and it's 1-1. Rodriguez on for just a matter of minutes, and he does level it up. Good, good ball through from Emmanuel Thomas, and it all came from Sonko's good tackle. I kind of laughed at it about the time, but it, it proved to be crucial. And um, Rodriguez shows me was wrong to, to drop him in this game. And he makes it Brighton 1, Ipswich Town 1. So now we look to have the momentum and Doby comes forward. Hopefully he just doesn't shoot. He, well, maybe he should have done with a ball like that. <laughs> but Bullard out wide. Good ball in all. Just no one on the end of it. And we've got a throw in. So we're, we're really piling on the pressure here. We're camped in their half at the minute. Jet tries to get a ball in, but it's a corner. So we can get the centre halves up. Um, led better with the corner not bad, there was someone on the far post just couldn't get to it, Cresswell does well he's on a yellow card remember and we've got another corner, so we are camped in their half at the minute um, Ledbetter's going to take this corner as well Ankrogan comes and does collect good goalkeeper in there um, Brighton will be looking for a counter here um, that ball should be going out and we did have defensive cover anyway so I think they've got an injury I think they're saying but um, we're looking good. We're looking like the most likely to get another goal. And that's a good ball forward if he's onside. And it looks like he is, Rodriguez. Um, he's not the quickest, but he's got good He's got good technique. So he should be able to find a teammate. Um, poor, poor ball through in for Mainsley. He's more of a defensive rather than attacking right back. So not to be... That's to be expected, really. But ball in. Oh, free header. Oh, that is awful. That is absolutely diabolical defending. And, uh, and after all the hard work we, we did to get back into it, to be on top, to have chances to go in front, that is just suicidal. I think it was Matt Ratzi's man to cover. So maybe I do need to have another look at these centre-backs because we are conceding too many goals. I know I'm playing an open formation, but the goals we are conceding are not due to that formation. It's just the centre-halves with poor position and not picking up their men and just giving the strikers and uh, people like Craig McHale-Smith quality just free chances to score, which are not going to pass up. Um, that's a poor free kick from Bullard as well. Straight to Ranker Gunn. He's going he's gonna to take that 10 times out of 10. And Brighton's going to have all the momentum now. We need to get a goal quick to halt this. Um, Doby. Oh my, what a finish from Doby. 35, 40 yards out into the top corner. His first goal from the club and what a goal. Um, there's a tough decision between him and Lee Martin and he's showing why he was the right decision. We were behind, we were behind a gap time for only a minute or two. And now, and now hopefully we can push on and, and get in front for the first time in this game. Of course, we've been behind twice due to poor defending and Brighton are coming straight back at us. Um, if they can get the ball to a man, that looked offside there, but apparently not. But a man, they, they blast it over. So a fantastic goal from Doby there. Absolutely bullet into the top corner. But they've got a free man again it's just to give him a, an outlet. And it's come back to him. We need to close him down much, much quicker. And um, I guess I think I'm going to have to make a change soon. Um, it's a foul from Cresswell, and he's been booked. I hope it isn't a second yellow because I don't have defensive a defensive player to come on, and it is. Uh, Cresswell sent off a second red card for us in two games. Um, I don't know if I have the 
I can't remember what setting I have the tackling on, but it might be on too much, so I might have to turn that down a bit. But what we're going to have to do is that we're going to just going to have to move into a back three, move Angel over, which he can do because he can play centre half. He's probably more natural as a centre half. So we're just going to play play a three for one and just try and get out of here with a point at this at, at this case because if we get a win here, I'd be surprised. Even though when we went down to ten men against Hull, we did look the more likely to score. And if that goal, oh my God, we can even defend that. It's an own goal apparently from Mackie. And just straight after concede to getting the red card as well, we didn't even give ourselves a chance of holding on. It's, it's absolutely criminal, and I I don't know what to say about it. I really don't. Um, I can't see us getting away back into this now, especially with only, with only ten men. Um, good header away there. If Jack can get there, we might have a chance of a break. It's Rodriguez. Good defensive tackle from Brighton, and they can bring it away now. They just look like a much more um, I wouldn't say better side, just more consistent. I mean, we have moments of brilliance, but then our defence is absolutely shocking. Um, he's cut inside here too easily, and um, but luckily uh, Mackey was back and he did he did a good job. But poor clearance and Brian can just come straight back at us again. Another good tackle from Mackey, and Mackey again gets it away. But I'm not quite sure what I can do here. Um, I really don't know. I guess I could take off Jet, bring on Chopra, go two up front. I think that's the only thing I can do. I mean, if we can see it again, we can see it again. It's pointless if we're going to lose 3-1 or 4-1. 3-2 or 4-2, sorry. But if we can nick a goal on the count or anything, just a goal, just to rescue a point, it'd be a huge point um, under these circumstances. But... It looks like it might be two in this video two defeats, um, which is a real poor start to the season. Um, but we've got time. The team's still gelling. They're still getting used to the formation. This formation just might be a bit too open, and I might have to. Maybe for away games it's just not right. Um, maybe that's just going to have to be for home games. Good block there, and Kinski can collect. Um, Apparently we can't get, make a break. It's just all Brian at the minute. It's just absolute dominance. And that was nearly four headed over from a corner. Um, it looks like we can't even get out of our half. See, so just Brighton again. And it looks too easy. It, we are playing three centre-backs. We've got no full-backs. Uh, and with wingers like Lua Lua, you're going to make chances. He's just got all the time in the world over there to pick out a ball. But maybe this could be a break. Um... Would we, oh, that's poor from Sonko. Just totally missed the ball. Ball across, and Mikael Smith has a hat-trick. <laughs> Real poor from Sonko there. But it looks like it's going to be another defeat here. Four goals conceded. Um, I guess we'll just have to try new centre-backs in the next game, just see if that tightens things up, because most of the goals have been poor defending. Um, I can't think of one moment of brilliance from Brighton. But it looks like they might have a fifth here. If Mikael Smith can get away from Mackey, that's good tracking back. But Mikael Smith, oh my god. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but Loa Loa got inside of it, got it there first. But luckily it didn't It didn't cause any another goal. Um, can we get an attack here if Rodriguez can get there? Again, that's twice Rodriguez have played it back for someone and just no one's been there. Um, so that shows a lack of footballing brain from Rodriguez or just a lack of control or positioning from the the receiver um, but overall this has been a huge disappointment um, now Matarazzi has been going to be booked this has been a huge disappointment considering when we got back to 2-2 after that wonder goal from Dobie it really was a it was a chance to go on from there and I would have expected even when at 1-1 we were absolutely dominating and then they just got up the other end and a huge defensive error just leaving Mikael Smith in the six-yard box on his own. And Mikael Smith nearly had a fourth there. So, back-to-back -back defeats here. Three games in the league played. Only one point, it's going to seem like. And that is just not good enough. If we continue like that, I'm going to not last in the job till Christmas, I'd say. Um, if I get sacked, I'll... I know that's a long, long way off. But if I do end up getting sacked, I'll just make a new manager, I guess. In the, or I'll just end the series. I, I don't want to end it because I'm having fun. Yeah, well, if you can call losing having fun, but it's just this is just unrelentless. 
Ball through and that's poor by the keeper and the defender. And there's a foul from Buckley abandoning. He's he going to get sent off. It is. So Will Buckley sent off for, for Brighton there. So it's 10 against 10. Um, I doubt we'll be able to get two goals in a matter of three minutes though. Um, can we get another consolation just to make the scoreboard look better? Um, it doesn't look like it. Again, Rodriguez put a ball back and no one gets onto it. And again, Mikael Smith is let to roam free and he hits the crossbar. Well, Mikael Smith is a, is a player, it seems like. But that's another defeat. A Craig Mikael Smith hat-trick and an own goal. So that was a real bad performance and I think they need to know. Um, it says they look motivated. It said that at half-time. But um, people like... Apparently Dobie had an excellent game. A lot of people did have decent games. Rodriguez did well when he came on. But that's probably due to his goal. It says um, Sonko and Matarazzi had... A, uh, it said that, Oh, that says they had poor games. I thought it said good. So I guess I'm going to have to change the centre-backs next time. That is what I'm now going to work on. See who I've got available. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later, guys.